No, I think it's always when you suffer an injury, <clears throat> and was our uh, uh, number one uh, keeper uh, so far. Uh, always is a it's a play that you are going to miss, but um, I think we have another player, another keeper that they are working really hard to try to, you know, to be ready in this type of thing when this type of the of thing happen. And yes, uh, of course, they're very sad because we are going to lose a player uh, maybe for a few weeks. Uh, we need to uh, still wait in and see perfectly uh, the situation uh, with Robert but also with uh, with Riz and with uh, Marco Burella. Yes, I think from the beginning, I think we are uh, being hit for different circumstances. This one is a important circumstance, uh, but we need to be strong because I think the competition doesn't stop and, and we need to be ready to compete. Obviously, Patrick hasn't got a vast amount of Premier League experience, hardly any at all, but you, you've got faith. Of course, of course. I have faith in you know, all my players and of course he's... He arrived to Chelsea because we believe have a, a great potential. Of course, he's young uh, and came from different football, like uh, he's in USA. But of course, now after four or five months working with us, I think it's the moment for him to to step up. Um, I feel good because we have the the confidence in him. We trust on him. The teammate. Trust on, on him. Now it's about to, you know, to make the debut in, of course, in Stamford Beach. Um, and yes, we trust, really trust on him that he can uh, perform in the way that we that we want. With, with Reese, yet, yet another hamstring. He, he's had a lot. I think in both legs as well. Yes, that is. I prefer not to talk too much now. I think we need to go depth depth in the in the situation, and I think he's. It's a little bit down because I was, it was very, I think, exciting to come back. And then how we build uh, his back, I think, was perfectly because it was step by step. Play, uh, first playing 20, 25 minutes, and then 30 minutes, 35, 45 minutes, 60 minutes. I think it was in a perfect way that we tried to build um, his confidence and and be full recovery, but that is a hit back that for him is, is difficult to to accept. He feels very disappointed, very frustrated. Now we need to, to be careful in the way that we are going to talk, but also assess and, and try to find the best solution for him to be consistent and try to forget too many injuries in the last few, in the, in the last times. You mentioned that he's down. Do, do, you, do you worry about him? I am worried about all the players, and also when you <clears throat> I think uh, uh, when it's coming for a period, a really difficult period, when the player no play, always is is down. But and then when few time you get again to start and back, you know, it's it's always you start to think and our mind always is difficult, you know, uh, to keep quiet and calm. Um, but we are going to support him. We are here to support him and to try to help. And for, uh, of course, we are all thinking and try to find the best solution for him to, first of all, as soon as possible, to be with the group, uh, recover, full recovery, and then to try that not uh, happen again the same. Porters will be looking for a little bit of good news. What can you tell them about Christopher and Conkin? Can he be involved in the squad? Yes, can be involved. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> it's very good news. Because I seem to be involved uh, tomorrow and be on the squad and start also to, to feel to feel the competition and to feel the Premier League and be with the team main. I think after the precision is is a very good news for us. But what we need to now to be calm and quiet because it's not uh, it's going to put all the pressure on him. Uh, now he need to evolve. Uh, know the the Premier League, know the competition, and of course, but it's but the way I seen is a big um, you know motivation also for for us, for the teammate and for the for our fans to see um, a player that should be important for us uh, be back on the on the squad or be on the squad for first time on the season. Yeah, that is good. News. Just a final one for me, if you don't mind. It's a bit off subject. Referees and diversity within the next couple of weeks. 
uh, female referee and, and a black referee will take charge of Premier League games. Your view on that? Yeah, uh, sorry, the female. A female referee will take charge of a Premier League game between now and the New Year, and so will a black referee. No, I think I am. I am really happy because I think in France when we were in Paris Saint Germain already in France, Stephanie uh, is a referee, a female ref referee, and she was really, really good. And why not? <coughs> I think the, the capacity is there. If the capacity is there, and I think uh, I think so happy, so happy that to see in football. Uh, because sometimes, you know, people say in football, people is so close. But I think open our mind. And I think everyone that have the quality, we need to measure the people about the quality, no? Because it's made for male or, you know, or different nationality. Thank you. You're welcome. Becky, PLP. Hi. Um, I know you're worried about Reese James. As a squad, as a whole, how does it affect them when you are trying to move forward with your project, but then you're losing such key players, what seems to be game by game? Yes, it's it's like when you are building a house and you suffer some problem, you need to delay it and to, you know, progress in different way. Um, yes, that is, a, that is in football happen. Um, when you are involved in a project that is about to build something, always you can find problems. And that is the type of problem that you never want to suffer because, of course, Riz is one of the key players, or oh, in our mind was our, our um, one of the, our uh, key players and our captain. And of course, but what we can do? We need to keep believing and, and working. I think all the projects start from, you know, uh, from the uh, this from scratch. Yes, scratch to you know, and then you need to go up. Uh, yes, I seen uh, the structure. Uh, uh, we need to build the structure and maybe find or take more time. But I think I have no doubt that with all the the hit against us from the beginning of the season, I think on the end we are going to succeed. We were talking a lot this week about to believe, to the confidence and, and you know, the trust. Of course, maybe now we are not in a position that is, is nice to see, but it's the reality, but the reality, you know, is there and we need to fight against the, the reality. That is the most important thing. I think we have a, a very talented player, potential, very good player, now it's about to believe, step up. We don't, the problem is to keep pushing. And how do you view the opportunity with Sheffield United? Bottom of the Premier League table without an away win, but they seem to have that new manager bound. Yes, of course, always is difficult. Premier League uh, games are um, always is sad. Every game is a different world. You know, you cannot compare. Uh, and always difficult. And of course, I, I know very well Sheffield United, I know very well Chris, and of course it's going to be tough because also they are going to try to to be aggressive, uh, low block, and for us, oh, it was difficult when we, when we play again a team that they were with low block. But I think uh, the most important that we were working was in our mentality, in our way to play. I see in different, find different solutions and, and be more solid and consistent. I think now for, for tomorrow, most important aspect is in the way that we are going to approach uh, the game. The signal is, look my voice, <laughs> if that is gone, because I seen we were uh, shouting a lot. Um, no, it's true. But I think it's, yes, it's in the way. I think the, the demand of the of the squad and the team um, and the players sometimes is about to, to agree to many things because that is when the project start is take time to agree many things and, and of course we are going to, to find and you know uh, everything that for that work and then uh, to be and succeed and from our side we are so motivated we work really, really hard to, to find a way to start to perform and win the games. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Becky. John, BBC. I'm at How would you describe the experience at the moment of managing Chelsea? Well, it's amazing. Sorry? Frustrating? No, it's amazing. I already know what this, what it means to win a title. 
you know. In Tottenham, everyone said to me, oh, you need to win at the winner. Already we won in Paris, okay. But now, I think it's so exciting, this project, and we knew, we knew that it's going to be difficult, and yeah, it's more difficult because all the circumstances, unexpected circumstances that you always, you plan to have, but not a lot, you know, how we are suffering after six, uh, five, six months. But that is a challenge, uh, and uh, it's, I think it's a very good uh, thing for us, uh, even if I am so upset and so uh, I feel really bad because we, I f for sure we want to be in a different position. But I think it's, that is the challenge. We are never going to give up and we are going to fight. And to, I think that type of situation uh, will, you know, make... Uh, find different options, different elements, be more, much more uh, smarter, clever, and to evolve like a coaching staff. I think the challenge is massive, but I really believe, I really believe that we can succeed. It's only a matter of time, but the time sometimes is there. It's, it's about to be patient and believe in the way that we are doing the thing. Of course, that the most difficult thing in football is keep believing when you don't get the result that you want. Time is the problem, right? Yes, of course. But for me, it's not a problem. We will succeed, for sure. You will see. Maybe today you can say, oh, this guy is crazy, no? But I am not crazy. I know what I am doing. 51 year old, Matt. 51 year old. <laughs> You're gonna let me forget yes. That. No, never. <laughs> and and for sure. Well taken. I mean, yeah, but look, is, look short, so. we never plan to have three players after Everton in shoot, you know, and the thing when happened this type of thing, always is about to, to be strong. Well, we are prepared to for the good things, for the good news, for uh, the VAR give a goal that is no goal, or, you know, uh, to have luck and everything. But when it's all again, 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 uh, and now is the moment to show if we have the capacity to deal and to manage this situation. Would it be a bigger challenge than you thought it was going to be? No, it's a challenge that, that we're supposed to have. But of course, with all the circumstances, it's, it's of course, make uh, more difficult the, the challenge. But it's still a challenge. Thanks, John. Thank you. Last two in this section. Simon and then Scott to finish. Hey, um, can you just confirm that there was a Christmas get-together on, on Sunday after the game and you apparently gave your commission and did, yes. it, did it work in terms of team bonding? And yes. After the... Yes, I, I, I give permission. And I think it's a good thing. I think, um, of course, after the Everton game, you can... Or, or people can say, I'm talking a different way. But when you have a young squad and people that arrive from different countries and different cultures, I think this type of event can, you know, put in the same, you know, uh, place and to know each other <coughs> like last night uh, in, a, in a different environment, always I think it's good. Under my experience, that is fantastic. That is why I didn't stop to go. Um, and of course, after was was nice because we were talking about the dinner. People was, the players were happy because on the end, sometimes people no communicate in between them, but that was an opportunity to communicate. And even when the thing are worse, you know, or difficult, in a difficult situation that people is killing you, you <laughs> maybe you become more together and say, okay, we need to protect and we need to fight all together for each other. And that is about to build the team, team bonding and, and everything. And then last night was also a very nice thing to celebrate all together with all the staff, the academy and the and the club staff and players, families, all the families to see the key. I think it was, was an amazing night last night, night, afternoon, because four o'clock is, is nine, no? But from four o'clock to seven, I think was was amazing to have all the family here and and the kid and everything and this is part of the process, you know, to know each other, to create um, 
a nice culture to back each other to you know to create something that is after uh, one two five percent more that you are going to give for your your family for your teammate. This type of thing I think can help to create uh, the group and the dynamic that to perform better because it's tact tactic also. And and yes, uh, I was agree. During the week, the, the response of the players were very, very good. Tough few days, because it's normal. We want to win. I am the first that I want to win. I want to succeed. We want to succeed. And we are going to do everything that we have in our hands to provide the players the tools for them to perform and score goal and, and to save and to and to win the games. Just yes, like yes. Christmas lunch sort of thing. Uh, was an afternoon after training. Yeah. That all the family, staff family, all the people that work here in, in Chelsea. I don't know was Adrian here. You were here? I was running, the running one of the food stalls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Last question in this section. Yeah. Go on. I just wanted to ask about Ian Matson. He was somebody who obviously impressed you quite a lot during pre-season. And I just wondered how you thought his season has been so far and maybe what the plan is to maybe give him more minutes if he deserves it. Yeah, of course. Now with the, with all the circumstances, he's, he always he's involved, you know. I was involved in last game. Yeah, but the young, young players sometimes, they can impress you in, in pre-season, but always you need to give time after to, you know, be calm. And relax, and sometimes they struggle after during the season. Uh, yeah, but he's a player that is in our, you know, uh, squad, and he's a great kid. And, and of course, the quality that can play and you can use in different uh, position. Yes, it's about to give time to him. Came from Burnley to play the season before in second division in Championship, and, and of course, the step to play in Chelsea and to perform in Chelsea is. is is with all the respect is is not the same, and and of course the competition is different. But uh, yes, it's a it's a player that is is in our radar, and of course um, we celebrate that is with us because it's always helping the team. Thanks, Scott. Cameras off, please. That's the end of the <coughs> broadcast section.